what I find, particularly with TBI patients or concussion patients and stroke patients, it gives us a baseline that is trackable as far as if we do serial WAVI analyses, we can tell whether or not our therapy program is working. Yes, thank you. I think that I'm, one, very excited about the potential of the WAVI. I am happy with it just from my own personal uh, TBI and concussion perspectives and what I find particularly with TBI patients or concussion patients and stroke patients it gives us a baseline that is then trackable as far as if we do serial weight, uh, YV analyses we can tell whether or not our therapy program is working and how quickly it's working. I have found as well that the YV correlates very close to symptoms. If they're talking about having brain fog or headaches or dizziness or they're just just not functioning right, don't feel like things are like working things. right in the brain, the YV seems to verify that. And I think that's a valuable tool because MRIs don't necessarily do that, and they're very expensive to do. Um, also, you have to have specialized readers in order to really track functional side of uh, brain activity with an MRI, and typically uh, perhaps special dye as well. So there's additional risks then with that. So I find that it's an excellent technology, and certainly we're just on the beginning of that, of what the, its potentials are. But we've always needed really a, in my opinion, a test that could be done serially to give us progress of our program for neurological problems. And this seems to fit, at least thus far for me, it fits that bill. Yeah, I think that all, all the time that we have a patient that has a chronic neurological problem, um, there's always the issue of we don't necessarily have all of their history because they forgot about it. They just didn't think about it. And with a couple patients that we did Wavi on, because they were having some issues, we discovered, wow, they have a pattern of a TBI and we go back and ask them uh, in a different way. Maybe when you were a teenager, did you have some type of head injury? Did you have loss of consciousness or whatever? And there's two patients in particular that I had that uh, we went back and, oh yeah, well, but you didn't tell me that before. Well, I just forgot about it. I didn't even think about it. It was so long ago, you know, 50 years ago, I didn't even think about it. But it's still showing up on the Wavi um, 40, 50 years later that there is a concussion or TBI pattern. And so there's opportunity there then for us to actually help them. And then a test that we can serially do, are we actually getting benefit and uh, improvement with that? I think it's an easy test number one, to get executed. Um, I think you guys have been more than helpful in arranging for patients to get the test done. It's not a long drawn out test. It takes about an hour, which is very doable for patients and for the practice. And also then we get the information from the reading at only a few days out. And so I think also that's been very beneficial. So uh, it's timely. Like I said, it's an easy test to get executed. And I think that um, patients uh, don't mind having a test like that, that one, they don't have to fear. Two, they are not being given any drug or they're not having to go into a chamber or there nothing is going on that is intimidating them 
relative to the testing. And so I find that um, the service has been excellent in follow-up and helpfulness and answering our questions and all of those things has been very good. I think it's very valuable. I think that um, it's necessary. We have to be able to expand the opportunities for getting interpretation. Every test has to have an, an interpretation and an understanding of what the test can and what its limitations are, what it cannot do. And so that information I think is always very beneficial for that.